In this video, we will go over protocols for surface marker and intracellular cytokine staining in flow cytometry. Begin by preparing the harvested tissue or cells. For samples like mouse spleen, a single cell suspension is prepared by mechanical dissociation and strained through a 40 micron filter. Add cell staining buffer up to 15 milliliters to the cells. For cells requiring stimulation, use cell culture media instead. Centrifuge at 350G for five minutes. Discard the supernatant. All future centrifuge steps in this protocol will utilize this speed. Lyse red blood cells in the sample in a tube that will allow for a minimum volume of 15 milliliters. Dilute the 10x red blood cell lysis buffer to a 1x working concentration with deionized water. Add three milliliters of this buffer to the cell pellet and resuspend. Incubate on ice for one to two minutes. Larger organs or samples may require a longer incubation time. Stop cell lysis by adding 10 milliliters of cell staining buffer or cell culture media to the tube. Centrifuge and wash the cells twice with cell staining buffer, discarding the supernatant each time. For intracellular cytokine and chemokine detection, it is critical to include a protein transport inhibitor, such as brafeldin A or menensin in the last four to six hours of cell culture activation. TrueStain FCX blocking reagent will be used to block cell receptors. The cells can be suspended and distributed to 12 by 75 millimeter plastic tubes or microwell plates for immunofluorescent staining. For mouse cells, incubate the 10 to the 6 cells in suspension with 0.25 micrograms of TrueStain FCX Plus in a 100 microliter volume. Incubate for 5 to 10 minutes on ice. For human cells, add 5 microliters of human true stain FCX for 10 to the 6 cells in 100 microliters of cell suspension. Incubate on ice for 5 to 10 minutes. Add your desired conjugated, fluorescent, biotinylated, or purified primary antibodies at predetermined optimal concentrations. Incubate on ice in the dark for 15 to 20 minutes. Centrifuge and wash twice with two milliliters of cell staining buffer. Resuspend the cell pellet with 0.5 milliliters of cell staining buffer. Samples can be read on a flow cytometer. Samples may instead be resuspended in 200 microliters of fixation buffer if they cannot be read immediately. If intracellular staining is required, the fixation step mentioned here should be skipped. Instead, continue with these next steps. Aliquot 100 microliters of cells, 2 times 10 to the 5th to 1 times 10 to the 6th, into a 12 by 75 millimeter tube. Add 150 microliters of Cytofast Fix Perm Buffer and mix. Incubate for 20 minutes at room temperature. Dilute the Cytofast Perm Wash Solution 10x to 1x with deionized water.
Add one milliliter of 1X Cytofast Perm Wash Solution. Centrifuge for five to 10 minutes. Then remove the supernatant. Repeat the wash and centrifuge step. Add a predetermined amount of the desired fluorophore conjugated antibody in 100 microliters of 1X Cytofast Perm Wash Solution. Incubate at room temperature in the dark for 20 minutes. Wash by adding one milliliter of Cytofast Perm Wash. Centrifuge for five minutes and discard the supernatant. Add one milliliter of cell staining buffer. Centrifuge and discard supernatant. Finally, resuspend the cells with 300 microliters of cell staining buffer. They are now ready to be analyzed on a flow cytometer. For more information, including experimental tips and troubleshooting, visit our protocols online.